humans. There are more of us now in 2016 than there have ever been any other year in our history. The question becomes, how many of us are too many of us? I'll let you decide at the end of the video. Here are five facts about world population. Number one, how fast we're growing. It can't be precisely pinpointed, but it is believed that the human population hit its first billion in 1804. It took all of human existence about 200,000 years to reach its first billion. The next billion came in 1927. After that, growth accelerated reaching 3 billion in 1959, 4 billion in 1974, 5 billion in 1987, 6 billion in 1999, and in only 12 years we added another billion people to Earth in 2011, making making the total 7 billion people. According to the US Census Bureau, there are currently more than 7.2 billion people living on Earth, the most populous countries being China, India, and the United States. GeoHive states that there is a daily increase of about 227,000 people added to the world every day after factoring in the death rate. Meaning, by the end of 2016, there will be over 82 million people added to the globe. That's more than the population of Canada, Australia, and Greece combined. Number two, why are we growing so quickly? Besides the obvious fact that in some areas of the world there are more people having more babies, there are other parts of the world, mostly in developed nations, where birth rates have actually decreased. Overpopulation largely has to do with the fact that human beings are living longer. With new medical, agricultural, and technological advancements, human life expectancy in the United States alone has jumped from 46 years of age for females and 48 for males in the early 1900s to the current average of 79 for females and 74 for men. That averages out to be about 30 additional years per person since the early 1900s. Given life expectancy numbers aren't as high globally, like in India where life expectancy is 68 years, on the other hand, in some countries that number is even and higher, like in Canada, where life expectancy is around 81 years. Number three, which countries have the highest fertility rate? According to a report done by the CIA, in 2015, the countries with the highest birth rates in the world are all in Africa, with Niger taking the number one spot. The CIA released another report that examined fertility rates. The top nine countries with the highest fertility rates are all also in Africa, with Niger once again claiming the number one spot, where the average amount of children women have there during fertility years is 6.76 kids per woman. That's a lot of kids. Limited resources in this area to teach about contraceptive measures are largely to blame. The lack of money and a weak economy also prevents some of those regions from being able to afford contraceptives. Number four, Thomas Robert Malthus overpopulation theory. This century-old theorist, Thomas Robert Malthus, spoke about his theory of overpopulation in 1798, and his theory is still debated today. Malthus believed that the world would be out of food in 1890, mostly because Malthus didn't account for agricultural and technological improvements. Notably, though we haven't run out of food, the use of commercially biotech and genetically modified foods have grown every year according to the ISAAA for the last two decades. So for argument's sake, let's take a look at his theory. Essentially, Malthus believed that only bad could come from population growth. He argued that our population grows faster than our food supply does. He explained this using basic mathematics. Malthus believed that food supply can only grow arithmically. For example, 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5. However, population grows geometrically, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Consequently, there is no way the food supply can keep up with the human population rate. Malthus stressed that the population can exceed food supply only to be positively checked by famine, war, and disease. Today, we see all of those boxes being checked off. Malthus' theory was largely dismissed because of the solution. Malthus' solution was for the purge to come true and kill off all of the have-nots in society. I'm hoping we don't go that route. Number five, something needs to be done. Something needs to be done, but the question of what to do is very puzzling and much harder to answer. Do we force people to apply in order to have children? Do we enforce China's one-child policy? Do we encourage more vasectomies? All of these are alleged solutions people have put forth, but what do you all think? Maybe one of you has an idea that has never been discussed before. Thanks for watching. Please weigh in on the comments below because I'm curious to know what all of you think. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because I put them out on a regular basis.